Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's gonna be for Sag. It's gonna be for my little Sagies. Week three. Something told me to just start it. So I don't know if that's on my end. I would have got distracted. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. My little Sagies. So, anywho, Sagittarius, 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 Sagittarius. We have way too many things going on in the background. All right, my little Sagittarius. Curious. Curious. Aries and Leo are my only zodiacs this week. They gave me a run for my money. So, let's see. Sagis, Queen of Swords, you might be giving somebody a run for their money. Ace of Pence, Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords, damn, lies. You know, normally, I, I mean, I could look at that as self-sabotage. There's something there it's just telling me lies. Okay, so it could be regarding love, it could be regarding a new job, lying within the company, it's want to transform something but it's not working, you got a swordfish here, because you're not happy here, king of swords, knight of swords, so it's a message with the six of wands. So there could have been a message you got. No, see, this is a king that wants to win. It's a message you're not going to like. But it benefits them. They got a wand in their hands. Is it with money? Four of cups. Yeah, like something... Something didn't go your way. There was like a rejection with the past. Or you're going to question, do I even want it? Oh, man, my fire is tough this week. I mean, don't panic, but, like, there's just a lot going on. Because this is like walking away. But you're walking away from the Ten of Pence. So something with money with you fire this week. I don't know if it's been exposed yet or it's about to be. Yeah, see, it's It's over. You don't like the offer. You don't you don't like how something's going. The magician. The magician seven of swords. That's tricky shit and lies all day. Four of pence, you hold them back. See, it's something that's dead and over already. You're still holding on. But it's it's lies. Yeah, see, it's it's definitely whatever this is, it's over. Like you gotta let it go. Goodness. You got the death in the world, but it's definitely an ending. Yeah, see, feeling stabbed in the back, eight of cups, walking away. You feel betrayed, or somebody else feels betrayed. Look at justice just bent. It's, I'm telling you, it's like you're bent out of shape right now. Something did not go in your favor, and you're stressed out. Or somebody else is. Because I don't even see stress. See, this is this is money. Something didn't go in your direction with money. Or you wanted to ground a situation. You wanted something stable and solid. And it didn't work. So what's this Ace of Pence? Because this is like um, you not liking the offer or something. Yeah, see, this was a connection. But it's, it's a one-sided connection. So it's, it's not really about love. Could be dealing with a Leo. Time to heal. Having a hard time accepting five of cups at the bottom of the deck. A Leo or a Sag. This came in with Aries and Leo. You might want to watch it. It's like their connection's not there. Others of you, some people don't want to reconcile because they're worried about getting hurt again. This is not wanting to get hurt again. 
if you have an offer coming your way. But the Two of Cups reverse is not good. It's one-sided, so that's why I feel like this is more of something didn't go in someone's direction and... Yeah, see, this is like getting a message you're not going to like. And then you put your guard up. It's like bickering. But this, you have an energy here that's moving forward and it's going to feel good, you know. It's like a nice shift of energy. Yeah, right back to some type of feminine that's still holding on and needs the strength to let go. This is somebody who still does not want to accept a feminine that does not want to accept something's over. It's got to be a strong fire sign. You, whatever this is, karmic, you got to let it go, sweetie. It's over. There's no going back. The world and death is like no going back. You're holding on to something that's dead. You're lying. You're tricky. You're playing games. You're being cold when you want to be cold. Nice when you want to be nice. You're, it's like your security is gone and you're pissed. <laughs> there you go. Ten of pence, ten of pence reverse. Your security is gone and you're pissed. It's time to move forward. This is tough for some of you. Yeah. Something with money didn't go in your direction. It's clear as day you wanted it. didn't go in your direction. Ten of pence upright. Your security is gone. So you must have been dealing with somebody who had money that came in. The Leo reader Aries. I'm almost positive it was Leo. We've got a strong Leo here. It's sad. What's this lie about? Well, it could be money. This is you wanting to put in effort but not putting in effort. Claiming you will but not. Releasing some type of hold. Yeah, you're lying about your happiness, what you really want. It's, it's being in, in something for the wrong reasons and uh, it's going to catch up to you. All those blockages that you caused. Yeah, you, something was already on a false foundation. There was, you know what I'm saying? Like you kept, you kept trying to make something work that was doomed to fail. It's like you gotta let go. You're holding on, and it looks like for financial reasons. Holding on for money, holding on for your own security. Um, it's tough. Please believe me when I tell you you can create your own security. Whatever this is, you gotta let it go. It's it's so karmic, and um, I think the reason why it keeps coming into our reads, and I I want to learn. I mean, I want to teach. You guys, I want you guys to learn. I want you to pick up on things. But this is more of like a manipulative energy. So it's almost like what goes around comes around. Like this is due. Like you can't stop someone else's karma. Tell me about this queen of swords. Because it's, it's not loving energy. It's, it's holding on for all the wrong reasons. It's unhealthy. It's codependent. You know, it's lies, manipulation. It's not good. You got heartbroken, and I don't even see anything on the board saying that, you know, you are. It's just having to um, accept what's going down. Heartbroken, you know, separation, grieving, mourning. I don't see cries. I don't see tears. I, You know, it's, it's like... <sighs> Tell me about heartbroken. So are you playing it off like you're heartbroken? You know? I just want one. One, please. Reminiscing, camera. Reminiscing about the past. Codependent, obsession, controlling, it's your own block, you know, um, that's just it, you know, third party interference, you just don't like the way something's going down. It's so hard to teach this to people that 
don't give a rat's ass and just want something to go in their direction, okay? So, I can't sugarcoat this and, and put a different story in front of you guys' face. This is literally a, a feminine energy. Someone coming in as a feminine energy could be a Leo, could be a Scorpio, a strong Leo a couple times. You got Libra, Sag. Um, not like in the communication. You, like you have to have the strength now to let go. Like it, it's over. And you're holding on to it, not for love, but for money, for security reasons financial reasons and it's not going in your direction and someone's happy elsewhere it's like you gotta let go it's over but you're still playing games and you're lying and karma's about to catch up so if you guys can't relate to this please go watch your sun moon rising venus because i can't read this any other way it's it's time to move on it, gotta go you only stayed for security reasons and it's done and now it's like you know it's done and you're not happy. There's no security here. Four of Wands, reverse, Ten of Pence, reverse, Ace of Pence, reverse. Your security is gone and you're not happy. I see no sorrow, unfortunately. This is lying about your feelings, lying about what you really want. You don't you don't want in. You wanted security. Gotta let it go, guys. For those who are not dealing with this, Hangman, the Sun, and the Seven of Pentacles. For those who are not dealing with this, it is time for you to change your perspective when it comes to some type of potential, some type of investment, some type of outcome, something that can grow. You need to change your mind. You need to look at it differently. Because the Sun is a good card. It's vitality. It's birth. Where do you want to invest? Change how you're thinking right now. When it comes to a king of wands, or this is a king of wands, I need to change how they're thinking about where they're going to invest. Yeah, the ace of wands, beautiful, beautiful energy. Temperance, could be even a reconciliation. This is somebody who wants to heal a situation. This is somebody who wants their passion back. They want their drive back. Okay. So if someone comes at you like that, you might want to reconsider it. I hope this helps you guys. I love you guys. See you on Patreon.